Hello guys, I'm just gonna do a quick update for my uh, Kalaman C3s. So last, uh, I think last year I posted about my Kalaman C that um, you know I've been planting here around my backyard. So I have around six trees here right in my backyard and I planted from the seeds. Uh, last year I mentioned that um, I, I planted them and I've been having them for six years and it's going to seven. So today is seven years old, and I was saying that I had a feeling that next year this Columbus is going to be uh, going to be producing fruits because it's going to be seven years. But unfortunately, no fruits again. So, so no fruits. Um, I've been fertilizing it, I'm feeding it, I did everything. Uh, I did some worm casting, and no fruits at all. But it's okay. Um, probably next year again. Uh, in the Philippines, normally these trees start producing like less than five years when you um, when you plant them from the seeds. Five years, you're gonna have your fruits. But probably here in Vegas, because we have uh, four season, these uh, the calamansi they you know they they stop their progress on the winter because it's because of the you know they hibernate. So it's kind of like the it paused their progress so it's kind of like delayed a little bit so yeah it's seven years old right now it's gonna go eight next year so hopefully I have some fruits um, I got a little bit frustrated now because I've been waiting here for a while I mean we're Filipinos we we like uh, calamansi we use it for anything we use it for cooking marinating meats or fish sauce and everything so it's kind of like it, we need it's kind of like we use it every day. Yeah, you make it juice also. Uh, it's a very good refreshing. Uh, I grew up with it. We used to have one in our backyard in the Philippines, and that one is only one tree, and it blooms. It, it produces fruits a lot, probably like all day, uh, all year long, and with with thousands of fruits. So, so here, if you can see, I'm gonna show you the. Kalamansi. So this one here. Those are Kalamansi. Except for those. Except for those one. Those are tangerine and orange. And over there I got a uh, um, lemon. So if you can see they're really blooming. Very green. Very healthy. So I've been watering them. Feeding them. So it's nothing. Not that you can say that this one is not a uh, healthy so yeah I've been trimming them too so always I, I trim them every um, end of January I cut them right to the top because I don't want this Columbus to start growing really really tall because you know it's gonna be harder for me to keep trimming it or if it start fruiting it's gonna be hard to harvest harvest the fruit so <clears throat> so but those uh, branches they start growing faster than I could trim it so that's why I keep growing it up and uh, unstoppable growing so anyway if you are oh, we gonna go come closer so you can see this is the tree the branch is really matured now you can tell they're matured because they start cracking and you know you can see this white around it does mean that the branches start getting matured uh, those they're pretty healthy very thick you got a big body now put a lot of mulch here keep them moist but some of the area is not really covered with mulch yet but I keep watering up all of them Yeah, pretty tall. It's gonna be harder for me to trim it next year. This lemon right here. Lemon start producing fruits this year. I think I have more than ten here. A lot of fruits it's just hiding right there. This one has a sun damage though. It's because you get to like triple digits here all summer long. Last week, last month we get uh, like a heat wave. It lasted for like 
almost a month. It's been 120. If you get to 120, the low is get for like 105 in the morning. So it's early morning. It's already hot. And this is my tangerine right here. Tangerine loves this. It's dark fruiting. There you go. A lot of fruits. A lot of fruits. This one's produced, uh, I thought it was only one. I was, I was eyeballing the one right here. And then uh, when it turned to like December, when it started turning yellow, I noticed two more hiding inside the tree there. So um, I got three fruits to this one last year. And I love it. It was juicy and sweet. Can't wait to have another one. This one have some sun damage. Too much sun here. Right there. And this one's orange. This one's the newest one. I planted it like a year ago. It started flowering, but it didn't stay. It falls. It didn't have any fruits at all. Or maybe it has, but I don't see any. I'll find it out in December, but I doubt it has because it's not a big it's not a big tree. So if it has fruit, I'll probably see it right now. So this one's a lot. It's probably like more than 30 fruits. Yeah. So amazing how you can grow in your backyard and enjoy it. Ooh, it's hot. So yeah. I can't wait for this calamansi to start fruiting though. This big tree is right here. I mean, that one is small. The tree right there, the tangerine, but it has like more than 30 or probably 50 fruits in that one. But, but, um, yeah, but there's a lot of fruits in that. So imagine this calamansi, they're like, it's six calamansi trees, right? If you start fruiting, man, I'm gonna be like, a lot. So, so I was thinking maybe I can sell some of them to like a market here. There's a market nearby, like a farmer's market outdoor. It, it happened like once, once a week, no, once a month. And everyone in this neighborhood, they bring their, their, like their backyard grown fruits and vegetable. We went there last time and we just check it out. It was nice. You can just like bring your own table and some tent and you can start putting all your stuff there and people buying it. So it's a good deal. I mean, it's fun. You meet people. I mean, it's a good community. People bring their uh, grown, like the eggs that they farm from their backyard, uh, vegetables, strawberries, any kind of stuff that people brings in there. I mean, it's a good stuff though. Uh, yeah, so for me, I was just saying to my wife that if this one starts fruiting, I'm gonna start, I mean, I'm gonna enjoy it first. First, I'm gonna enjoy it. And then I'm going to start selling it to the farmer, farmer's market if I got a lot. So, yeah, hopefully next year, though. My grandma told me that you can talk to the plants and they'll listen. So I talked to these plants here. I told them, like, you need to start producing fruit. I'm going to cut you guys down. <laughs> no. But now this is my, it's like my baby's right here, too. I'm enjoying these trees right here. It's very nice watching them. Right now it's hot. It's so hot here. They can't even sit here on my couch outside. But this is the weather here in Vegas. If it's winter, it's too cold. Summer is too hot. So normally we're just hanging out here like spring and fall. So every time I hang out here with a nice weather, I always enjoy a look on it. Look at my uh, trees. And it gives me a lot of shade still from neighbors. They can't, like, privacy too. They got neighbors over there and there. So they can't see me if I'm mostly I sleep here in the afternoon, take a nap. Yeah. So, yeah, 120 degrees. This Clemency, they enjoy it. They love it. They enjoy the heat. No complaint. If you can see, all the leaves are not yellow or dying because they love this heat i mean this columbus seat here they've been sitting here in the summer we probably get like 12 hours of sun not so much for my tangerine though my tangerine start like the leaves are dying falling so 
yeah that's about it so next year i'm gonna update you guys if uh something new i'm gonna show you hopefully i'm gonna have some fruits though so so i can you know show you guys and yeah so see you guys next next year probably i'm gonna post it this is just a quick uh, update for my clemency so thank you guys see ya